So guys, what do you want to do today? Ooh, I know. We should go to the arcade and play games. That sounds like so much fun. Yeah, dude. Does anyone have any quarters? No, dude. I'm poor. I swallowed one a week ago, and I've been digging in my poop trying to find it, and I haven't found it yet. Uh, I think I have some. Let me see. Uh, I have four quarters, two nickels, and a penny. Why do you have a penny? I don't know. Who even uses pennies anymore? Hey, dude, you know if you throw a penny from the top of the Empire State Building, you could kill someone? Nuh uh. Yeah, dude. No, it's true. The momentum from the penny is like a bullet. Let's try it. Well, yeah, yeah, that'd be so cool. We should try it. Yeah. But, guys, we'd have to go to New York City. Why do you have to go to New York City? Because that's where the Empire State Building is. I didn't know that. You didn't know that? Look, I don't know my structures and geography and stuff. Look, look, look. How about we just use this money to buy our plane tickets to go to New York City? What, Junior, this isn't 1950. You can't buy plane tickets tickets for 25 cents. Well, let's ask Chef PB to buy his plane tickets to New York City. I highly doubt Chef PB is going to be willing to pay for all of us to go to New York City. Well, we might as well go ask him. Man, oh man, I'm so excited. Hawaii, here I come. Hey, Chef PB. No, not right now, Junior. I'm packing my bags for Hawaii. How can you afford to go to Hawaii? <laughs> Check this out. I sold one of my kidneys for $5,000. Why would you sell one of your kidneys? You have two kidneys, Junior, and I don't need this one, so I sold it. For, for $5,000? Yep, so I'm gonna pack my bags for Hawaii. <laughs> this is gonna be a blast. Now, all I need is my money. <gasps> Wait, where's my money? I need my money. It was right here. Where is it? See, Cody, I told you Chef PP was going to pay for us to go to New York City. We stole his money. I would say we borrowed it. Well, do you intend on giving it back? No. Then we stole it. Listen, Cody, when Chef PP finds out why we're going to New York City, he's going to know it's for a good cause. It's not for a good cause. We might kill somebody. In the name of science. It's a science experiment, Cody. Yeah, I'm going to go to the top of the Empire State Building and throw a penny off and see what happens. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. Junior! Uh, hey, Chef PP, what's up? Have you seen my money? Oh, oh, the money that was on the kitchen counter? Yes! Uh, no, I, I haven't seen it. Well, I, I need my money. I'm trying to go on a trip to Hawaii. Oh, well, listen, I, I just, I don't know where your money is. Wait, wait, why are you laying down like that? Uh, because my back hurts, man, I'm tired. Well, well get up! Uh, I, I can't get up because, uh... Because uh, me and Junior were about to make out. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, we were, and I haven't brushed my teeth in over a week. I'm not getting up. Well, then you might as well stand up, then. Uh, uh yeah, yeah, Cody, kiss me. <laughs> Ew, gross! <laughs> <laughs> Junior, I'm not going to miss an opportunity to smooch you. All right, listen. Let's take this money and let's go to New York City so we can go to the Empire State Building. Do it, Jeffy, do it! All right! Ow! What? Hey! Uh oh Hey, did you just throw a penny off this? It was him, it was him! You're going to jail! Aww. Marvin, have you heard from Jeffy? No, he's probably in his room. Who's texting me? Oh, Jeffy just said he threw a penny off the top of the Empire State Building and hit someone! What?! <laughs> hey there! Oh, officer, what's going on? Well, your son just threw a penny off the top of the Empire State Building and hit someone. Jeffy, why would you do that?! Because I wanted to see if you would kill someone! Don't say that in front of the officer! Too late, I already heard it. Your son's being charged with involuntary attempted manslaughter. Is he going to jail? Probably. But the guy didn't die, although he is suing Jeffy for the boo-boo he sustained. Marvin, we have to get a lawyer! We can't hire a good lawyer, we don't have the money! How about a bad one? What? I'm a lawyer. Not a very good one, but I'm cheap. How much do you charge? What do you got? Uh, we don't really have anything. Hmm, okay, I'll tell you what. Yeah, if I win, you take me out to Applebee's and you let me buy whatever I want. Applebee's? Yep. Uh, okay, deal. Yes! Suckers! Come on, Jeffy, let's go to court. Order, 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 order. I am Judge Boober, and today we will be hearing the case of Jeffy Jeffy versus Booby. No relation to me whatsoever. Jeffy Jeffy is accused of involuntary attempted manslaughter, and Pooby is suing him for one million dollars in personal harm. Prosecution, proceed the... Prosecution exam. Your Honor, my client... Looking good, Pooby. Back at you, Judge. <laughs> yes. Continue. Mm -hmm. Your Honor, my client, Pooby, was innocently walking down a New York City street when all of a sudden, BAM! Abraham Lincoln, in coin form, fell from the sky and clocked my client right in the noggin. Right there is where he got hit. Now, Pooby, tell me. What were your thoughts when that happened? I know it might be hard to remember, considering that the coin has caused memory loss. Well, uh, I was really just wondering who threw that penny. Did you get a good look at them? I did not. They were on top of the Empire State Building. Do you mind pointing to the people who may have done this to you? Point over there to them. Uh... Mm. Aha! Guilty! 
guilty. I'm sorry. I didn't hear a single word you said. I was too distracted by that ghastly wound on his head. Could you cover it up with a bandage or something? Can someone pass me some damn band-aids, please? Jeffy, pass him some band-aids. Okay. Ow! You see that? He has a throwing problem! Guilty! But no, your client just needs to learn how to catch. There you go, booby. Can you kiss it and make it better? Sure. Thank you. Such a beautiful sight to see. Continue! Your Honor, my client is suffering from severe headaches and migraines ever since the penny struck him in the head. He is now blind in his left eye. Close your left eye. Because the penny hit him right here so hard that he lost the vision in his left eye. Also, women won't even go on dates with him because of that hideous scar in his head. I tell him that I got in a fight with a bear, but they don't believe me. We think Jeffy intentionally threw the penny at my client to cause these damages. Very persuasive, prosecutor. Defense attorney, you better have a very good reason why I should not bang my gavel and call your client guilty this very instant. Go! Your Honor, my client is just a curious little 17-year-old child who heard a rumor that if you throw a penny off the top of the Empire State Building, it'll kill someone. Now, what child do you know that wouldn't jump at the chance to commit manslaughter in the name of science? I know my daughter certainly would. So, you're saying he did it thinking he would kill someone? That's premeditated! I now want to up the charges to premeditated attempted manslaughter instead of involuntary manslaughter. No, 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 no. Your Honor, my client was simply trying to bust the myth that a penny could kill someone if thrown from the top of the Empire State Building, which he obviously did bust it because the penny hit that man and he didn't die. So, Jeffy just busted the myth. That makes him a myth buster. Now, should myth busters go to jail? No. They should get their own show called Mythbusters. Hmm, yes. I do like that show. Prosecutor, how do you feel about the television show Mythbusters? Isn't it quite entertaining? It's, it's okay. Your Honor, I have proof that Jeffy was not trying to bust a myth. He was intentionally trying to hit someone with a penny. Right here is a screenshot that I have taken from Jeffy's phone. It is a conversation between him and his friend Junior. I will now read the conversation. Jeffy says, I can't wait to throw the penny off the Empire State Building. Junior then says, yeah, it's going to be so cool. Eggplant emoji. Jeffy then says, I hope we nail some fool with it. My client being that fool. Then Junior says, yeah, he will be in so much pain. Black Santa Claus. Jeffy then says, bumpin' noggins. Two money bag emojis. Your Honor, I think my client deserves two money bag emojis for his pain and suffering. Hmm. Defense attorney, what I am seeing is very troubling to your gaze. You'd better defend your little ass off. Ooh, okay, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, this doesn't look good. But I have this! This is a picture of the Empire State Building. Now I have a question. How many people visit the Empire State Building every day? Hundreds? Thousands? Hundreds of thousands? Well, probably not that many, but a lot of people do. And how many of those people throw pennies from the top of the Empire State Building? At least a few. So how do we know that penny that hit your client belonged to Jeffy and not Steve or Bob? or someone we don't know. I happen to know Bob and Steve, and they would never do such a thing, but many people will. So prove to me that that penny was thrown by Jeffy. Hmm, that is true. I have thrown many a penny in my day. Prosecutor, cute the process. Your Honor, I have just the evidence we need to close this case. I've taken more screenshots from Jeffy's phone. These are text messages between Jeffy and his dad. Jeffy says, Hey, Daddy, I threw a penny off the Empire State Building and hit someone, admitting that he hit someone. Jeffy's dad then says, No, you didn't, Jeffy. Were you trying to hit the guy? Then Jeffy says, Will I be grounded if I say yes? Then Jeffy's dad replies, Yes. And then Jeffy says, Yes, with a skull emoji. <gasps> Defense attorney, it looks like you've been backed into a corner. How will you get out? 
Well, I think maybe my client needs to stop sending text messages. What, what are you doing? I'm trying to take a picture of the guy so I can send it to my daddy and tell him this is the guy I was trying to hit with the penny. G -g Give me that. Uh, your Honor, uh, my, my client would like to uh, plead insanity. That's it. He's insane. Didn't know what he was doing. Uh, insane in the membrane. <laughs> you heard that song? Uh, 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 no, I, I, I got it. Uh, well, we haven't heard from the penny in all of this. Jeffy threw the penny, but how do we know that the penny didn't choose to hit that man? It, it could have hit anybody, so why did it pick him? Huh? I think we should be talking to the penny. Let's call the penny in here. Hmm, yes, good point. Where is the penny that was used in the assault? It's right here, Your Honor. You see that? My client's scared of pennies and shit. But I don't know why you want to talk to the penny. The penny doesn't talk. It's sitting here, not doing anything. Doesn't have a mind of its own. Can't make decisions. But who's on the penny? Honest Abe. He can't tell a lie. And he's under oath. That's double the truth telling. Your Honor, I want to question that penny. Your Honor, this is ridiculous. You're not actually going to entertain this, are you? Hmm. I want to see where this goes. Prosecutor, hand him the penny. Here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask this Penny a few questions. Now, Penny, did Jeffy throw you from the top of the Empire State Building to try to hit that guy? Yeah. Shut the hell up, Abe! Well, just lie! I can't! Not when I'm holding the Penny! The power of Abe compels me! All right, I've seen enough of this nonsense. Jeffy is guilty! Yes! We won! We won! We're going to be able to fix your head and your vision! Woo! Uh, think fast. Ugh. Ow! Run! <laughs> Kill them! Marvin, how do you think the court case is going? Well, hopefully that lawyer's doing his job. Hey, hey, we won the case, so let's go to Applebee's. Come on, hurry up, let's go right now. Wait, really? we, we won? Yeah, we did. They dropped all the charges, so get your ass in the car. Let's go to Applebee's. Well, I, I have questions. Okay, we can talk about it at Applebee's. Let's go. Ooh, I want the chicken wonton tacos. Yep, me too, so let's go. Let's go to Applebee's right now. Uh, but I have so many questions. Yeah, that's okay. We can talk about it over a plate of mozzarella sticks at Applebee's, so come on. Marvin, we can turn on the news real quick. No, 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 we don't need to do that because Applebee's has TV, so come on, let's go right now. Why are you in a rush to go to Applebee's? Applebee's. Because I want to get there before they close. It's only six o'clock at night. Yeah, but this is this is Applebee's. They got the dinner rush. I, I want to make sure I get a good table. I, I have a special spot. So come on, let's go. Let's go right now. Come on, uh, chop, chop. Uh, let's okay. go. Okay. Oh man, I am eating good in the neighborhood. Thanks for the Applebee's, man. I mean, you deserve it for winning the case. What, what are you talking about? I lost. Oh, oh, oh the case. Yes, I, I did win that. I, hey, hey, cheers for me winning the case. <laughs> and, and waitress, could you refill my cup, please? This is empty. I thought we lost. Wait, shut the hell up and eat your chicken fingers. Ooh, I can't wait to eat my chicken wonton tacos. Uh, just slow down there, fatty. Maybe eat your salad instead. I might want some tacos later. You can't eat all this food. Oh, yes, I can. A good lawyer is a hungry lawyer. That's what my mom always said. Look, the news is on! Oh, don't, don't pay attention to that. Hey, hey, look at this artichoke dip, huh? It's, they are really being cheap. Hey, can we refill the goddamn bowl, please? You know? <laughs> Wait, the news is on. No, 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 don't worry about that. Just look at my steak. What's up with this steak, huh? It's like a hockey puck. It's so overcooked. Breaking news, okay? I want a court case where a man got hit in the head by a penny that was thrown from the top of the Empire State Building. We have an exclusive interview with the man now. So, sir, now that you've won your lawsuit, what are you going to do with all that money? Well, I'm terrified of pennies now, but I melted that penny down and turned it into the lenses on these sunglasses. Hmm. And, with the leftover copper, I turned that bitch into a car. You turned it into a car? Yup. <sighs> Suck it, pennies. <laughs> Ow. <clears throat> Curse you, pennies! What? You lost? No, c come on, that's that that's fake news. Somebody somebody should report them for reporting fake news. Oh man, I do have to use the bathroom though. Oh man, my stomach has just been hurting me all day long and you know I had that whole drink earlier, so and by the way, can I get a refill for that, please? Thank you. You know, so I, I think I'm just gonna use the bathroom just real quick. Hey, are you gonna eat that burger? Yes. No, you're not. I'm gonna take that, just thank you. And then, uh, you know, I'll be back in about 15 minutes or so. But you got the bill, right? You're paying for this? What? Yeah, thanks a lot, buddy. What? Ah, dinosaur! Stop trying to bite my hand! You already bit my girlfriend in half! Hey, Junior, what are you doing? Playing with pipe cleaners. Why aren't they called pipe cleaners? Because you can clean your pipes with them. Here, play with a blue one. Clean pipes, you say? Well, I got a two-inch pipe it can clean. What's up, dude? What's up, Joseph? Notice anything different about me, bro? Did you get a tan? Nah, dude, you know I'm black. <laughs> I got my ears pierced. What, you got your ears pierced? Don't only girls get their ears pierced? No, dude, guys can get their ears pierced too. It's totally straight, nothing gay about it. Um, Junior, I think it got stuck. 
Well, Joseph got his ears pierced. Oh, no way. That's so cool. I want my ears pierced. Well, you have to ask your parents, dude. See me? I don't have parents, so I don't have to ask anybody. Well, who pierced your ears for you? Some homeless guy in the alley with a dirty needle. <laughs> Well, I'm totally going to ask my daddy, and I know he's going to say yes. Hola, papi. Jeffy, don't call me poppy. Well, what do you want me to call you, daddy? Stop talking like that. Um, father, may I penetrate my earlobe with a very sharp device and wear it for fashionable purposes? What? Can I get my ears pierced? Oh, no, Jeffy, you can't get your ears pierced. Marvin, he's 17 years old. Exactly, he's 17. When he's 18, he can do whatever he wants, but since he's 17, he has to listen to me. You never let me do what I want. What's this poking out of your shorts? Don't touch it. <laughs> Son of a biscuit eating bitch! What, Jeffy, well, where was this at? It was in my arena! Why was it there? Because it's a pipe cleaner, Daddy, and it was cleaning my pipe. And now it's as clean as a whistle. And the hose blow it like one, too. Like, yee, 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 yee. Well, Jeffy, just go. Go get my ears pierced, or. No, no, you cannot get your ears pierced. Leave! I hate you! Mm. What'd your dad say, Jeffy? He said. No! How do you have time to make that? Why'd your dad say no? Cause someone pissed in his Fruit Loops. Oh, I hate when that happens, dude. Oh, somebody did that to me yesterday. I mean, I still ate it, but gross, right? So what are you gonna do now that you can't get your ears pierced? Well, I'm still gonna get my ears pierced. But your dad said no. Yeah, but if you take away the N, it leaves O, which means, oh yeah, do it. Huh, I never thought of it that way. Yeah, so let's pierce my ears. I'll get the piercing gun. All right, got the piercing gun, dude. All right, Jeffy, what ear do you want to get pierced? Well, which ear means I like big sausage in my pooper? I think the right. All right, well, then strong left. Is it going to hurt? Well, any sausage in your pooper is going to hurt, Junior. No, I meant the piercing. No, dude, it'll hurt for like 10 seconds. That's it. Now, the blood infection from the dirty needle, that'll hurt. All, All right, right, let's send it. All right, dude. Here we go. Ah! I'm just kidding. It just felt like a pinch. Oh, whoa, oh, what earring are you going to put in your ear? Oh, I got my mommy's jewelry box. So I'm going to go get an earring on that. All right, guys. Check out my earring. Ooh, oh, my God. It looks so cool. You want to get the other ear pierced? No, I don't really like big sausage in my pooper. Hey, Joseph, you got your right ear pierced. It's totally straight, dude. A lot of rappers have both their ears pierced, and they're not gay. At least not that I know of. So what do you guys want to do now? How about we play tag? Tag your it. Ah! Uh, tag your it. Tag your it. Ah! Oh! Get back here, Jimmy. Oh! Ah! I know, Junior, it hurts so bad. Wait, what's going on, dude? Jeffy's ear ripped off. Ah! We have to call a doctor. No, Junior, we can't call a doctor because my daddy told me not to pierce my ear. And if he finds out that I pierced my ear and I ripped it off, I'm going to get in trouble. Oh, okay, well, let's try to put your ear back on. Come on, let's go to the red couch. Okay. Ah! All right, Jeffy, we're going to put your ear back on. How, Junior, how? We need something sticky. Ooh, I got some chewing gum. It's pretty sticky. Ooh, put, put your gum on the ear. Oh, okay. Ugh. All right, Jeffy, try to put your ear back on. Okay. Oh, no. It's not working, Junior. What do we do? Uh, we need something stickier, like tape. Oh, I'll get the tape. <clears throat> One more piece and done. All right, I just put tape on your ear. Now try it. All right, Junior. I hope this works. How does it look? It looks so good. Oh, no. Uh, it's not working, Junior. Okay, we got to think of something else. We really need an adult's help. How about we ask Chef Pee? No, what if he tells my dad? No, I trust Chef Pee, Pee He's really responsible. Yeah, he's not a snitch. Yeah, let's go ask Chef Pee, okay? Okay. <sighs> I'm almost done with Junior's dad's soup. He's been bothering me all day about it. Chef Pee, Pee Chef Pee, Pee What do you want, Junior? I'm making your dad's soup. Well, Jeffy's ear came off. Ah! Oh, he made me drop his ear in the soup. Get it out, get it out, get it out. Chef Pee, Pee my soup better be ready. Oh, no, I gotta get the ear out. Man, oh, man, am I hungry. <gasps> Junior, what are you doing? You know the man of the house has to eat first. Give me that spoon. But, but, Dad, but, Dad, I... Uh, Give me that spoon, I gotta eat first. But uh, I don't think you should eat that. I'm starving. Oh, wait, are you calling me fat? I'm a beautiful woman, God! Who oh, no, he has the ear. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of people calling me fat. I'm not fat, I'm big bone. Dad, please don't eat that. Julia, we need to have the talk. You need to stop judging people based on their bodies, especially women. Yeah, everybody wants a 10. They're beautiful and pretty, but they're boring. They don't know how to cook. Ew, yuck. A two. Yeah, they're ugly, but they'll do anything for you. Yeah, I'm talking about anything. <laughs> so get you a two and not a ten. But dad, I don't want you eating this. Look, I have to eat this, Junior. I have to eat this so I don't become a ten. <laughs> no, no, dad, there's nothing to ear in there. No, dad, no, please, I'm dead, dad. Oh, delicious. <laughs> he just ate Jeffy's ear. Oh, no. Did he eat the ear? Yeah. Did he like it? 
Uh, yeah? It's the secret ingredient! I gotta chop some ears off! Junior, your dad ate my ear? I tried to stop him! Well, what are we gonna do now? Um... Ooh, I got an idea. Come on, come on, come on. So what's the plan, dude? I just called Mr. Potato Head and told him to come over, so when he gets here, we're gonna jump him and take one of his ears so we can give it to Jeffy. Okay, okay, I like this plan. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Hey, guys, it's me, Mr. P-Head, here to party. So what are we gonna do? Oh, nothing. Just turn you into mashed potatoes, bitch. Jump it. Jump it. Alright guys, I got the ear. How's your look? It doesn't look too bad. Looks like our job here is done. I'm going home and taking Mr. P with me. Well, why are you taking him? Uh, because he doesn't have ten holes for no reason, dude. <laughs> Well, look, your your face actually looks pretty good with the ear. Like, you couldn't even tell. Like, look over here. Really, Junior? Oh, yeah, you can't even tell that's a fake ear. Hey, Marvin, have you seen my other hoop earring? You know, the one that I wear all the time, and it looks just like this. Wait, you're missing an earring? Yeah. And didn't Jeffy want his ears pierced? Yeah. Jeffy! I think your dad's calling you. Oh, I'm coming, Daddy. Jeffy, get in here! You shumming me, father? Have you seen your mom's missing earring? Is it a big gold hoop? Yes. That looks like that one? Yes. I haven't seen it. What? Yes, you have, Jeffy! No, I haven't. You know what I think? Oh, I think you pierced your ear and you wanted to put an earring in it, so you took one of your mom's earrings. Bingo. So I'm right? No, I was singing Bingo was his name -o, and Bingo was his name -o. Jeffy, can I please have my earring back? I'll have it. Yes, you do, Jeffy, and you're grounded till you give it back. I'm sorry, could you say that again in my bad ear? Why, you have a Mr. Potato Head ear on your head? I don't have a Mr. Potato Head ear on my head. Yeah, remove it, Jeffy. Ow! Hey, hey, no hitting. Ow! Hey! I said no hitting. Ah! Jeffy, you're missing your ear. Yeah, because someone ate it. What? No one ate your ear, Jeffy. Danny, I know how this sounds, and for the first time in my life, I'm not lying. Someone ate my ear. Then who ate it? I don't know his name, but it was some bald guy wearing money slippers. That's a lie, Jeffy. Marvin, what if he's telling the truth? There's no way Jeffy's telling the truth. If Jeffy's telling the truth, I'll write, I like big fat wiener on my forehead. Is anyone missing an ear? I just threw it up. I must have accidentally ate it. Big fat wiener. That's what you said you'd write. Uh, can we get the ear, please? Here. Oh, uh, well, let's call a doctor so we get your ear put back on. Not until you write it. Big. Fat. Wiener. Uh, I will write it, but I think we should call a doctor to get your ear put back on. Marvin, you said you'd write it. And I am going to write it, but I think we should we should worry about his ear. Stop that. I will write it later. I will write it later, okay? We got to call a doctor. I'm going to hold you to it. Hey there, did somebody call a doctor? Wait, what happened to the other guy? Oh, you mean Brooklyn guy? Oh, he's sick. But luckily he keeps his door locked, so I can just go in there and steal his outfits. <laughs> so, what's your problem? What, she need a mammogram? I bet I could squeeze her in. Oh, no, she does not need that. Oh, oh, oh she needs a pap smear. I'm real good at smearing pap. No, are you good at surgery? Uh, well, I mean, I've been inside a few hot babes in my day. Oh, no, no, are you good at surgery? Well, I don't know if you'd call it surgery, but I have rearranged the girl's guts before. No, my son is missing his ear. I'm the doctor here. Let me take a look. Hmm. Your son is missing his ear? Yeah, we're wondering if you could do surgery and reattach it. Oh, well, which one is his real ear, though? It, it, it's this one right here. Okay, well, I guess I can help your son with his ear if your wife helps me with my ear. Rection. Wait, what? what? Can you just please put his ear back on his head? Well, I guess. Let's go into surgery. Marvin, how do you think the surgery's going? Well, the surgery was a suck sess. Danny, it looks like I got a big fat ball sack on my face. Well, you put his ear on sideways. Hey, no refunds. And now that I've held up mine in the bargain, it's time for your wife to hold up hers. Will she be able to dethrone the throat goat from the bowling alley? We'll find out. But if I have to take you home afterwards, I'm going to need some dad's money. Or else I'm not doing it. Okay, right, you need to get out of here. So, Jeffy, can you hear? What? Oh, no, he can't hear out of his ear. Oh, no, I can hear. I just wasn't paying attention. <sighs> well, at least you have your ear back and everything can go back to normal. All right, Daddy. Time to write it. Write what? I like big fat wiener right on your forehead. Time uh, to write it. I, I don't have to write it because you got your ear back. No, you have to write it. You said you'd write it. Marvin, it was a deal. <sighs> Hell, yeah. How long do I have to keep it on my head? Forever. And if it ever washes off, you got to write it again because that's how wrong you were. <sighs> Oh, 
Christ. Today we're going to be doing another show and tell. So hopefully you brought something cool to show to Christ. What'd you bring for show and tell, Cody? I brought my violin. I learned how to play Star Wars on it. That's so cool. What'd you bring, Joseph? I brought a wash. What, Joseph? Why would you bring a wash? Why wouldn't I bring a wash, Cody? What if it stings you? It's not going to sting me. It's my pet. Duh. It's not your pet. Then why is it in this cup, huh? Well, because you trapped it in there. Guys, look what I brought for show and tell. I brought a never before opened Hey Arnold toy. Oh, dude, that's super cool. Yeah, I guess that's kind of cool. You know how hard it is not to open up a Hey Arnold toy for years, Cody? Not, not that hard. What'd you bring, Penelope? I brought my princess piggy bank. It has $45 in it. Well, I'll give you my Hey Arnold toy for the $45. No, Junior. Oh, I'm so mad at Penelope for not giving me that money. All right, Jeffy, you come up here and show and tell first. Ooga booga booga booga! Don't be scared. It's just me. This is a lion mask that I found. Very scary, Jeffy. You can go back to your seat. All right, Penelope, it's your turn. I can't wait to show everyone my piggy bank. <laughs> Jeffy, you broke my piggy bank. You're going to have to pay for that. Well, I'm a kid cat. I don't have any money. Ha <laughs> ha, Penelope, that's what you get for not buying my Hey Arnold toy. Shut up, Junior. All right, you two, settle down. Go back to your seats. All right, Cody, you come up and present next. Hell yeah. You guys ready for your ears to explode from greatness? Okay, everybody, I'm going to be playing the intro song from Star Wars. You know, the one that goes like, da na 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 you know, you know that one? Okay, here we go. You didn't buy my hair Arnold toy for $45. Oh, go cry about it, Junior. Go cry about it, bitch. Joseph. What's up, dude? I will give you my hair Arnold toy if you put that wasp down the back of her shirt. Oh, say less. I was eyeing the hair Arnold toy since you showed me, dude. <laughs> All right, dude, I put it down his shirt. Here you go. Yes. Hey, Penelope, how you feeling? Fine. Wait, there's, there's something crawling on my stomach. It's a wasp. <laughs> Oh, thank you for cheering, Penelope. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Penelope, why are you creaming? Probably because she enjoys my beautiful music. Teacher, I just got stung by a wasp and I'm allergic. Now my stomach's all bloated. Well, maybe you're pregnant, Penelope. Shut up, Junior. Maybe Jeffy got you pregnant when he ran into you. <gasps> I got Penelope pregnant? Hey, Daddy. What's wrong, Jeffy? Did your classmates not like your lion mask? No, they did. Then why the long face? Because my mommy drank when she was pregnant with me. No, I meant why are you sad? I'm afraid to tell you. Jeffy, we're your parents. You can tell us anything. Yeah, Jeffy. You promise you won't get mad? Well, I gotta know what it is first. And you promise to take me to Disney World so I can get over it? How bad is it, Jeffy? Oh, it's really bad. Like, so bad. Like, the worst thing ever. My life is over. Did you kill someone? Well, not yet. I mean, she gets to make that decision later on down the line. You know, her body, her choice. What are you talking about, Jeffy? I got a girl pregnant. What? Jeffy! You got a girl pregnant, Jeffy! Why would you do that? Well, hey, it's not my fault! Oh, it is your fault, Jeffy! You're the one who did it! Well, I ran into her and I busted her pink piggy open and then she asked me to pay for it! She asked you to pay for it? Yeah! Oh my god, baby Jeffy got caught up in some weird money situation! Baby Jeffy, are you sure she's pregnant? Yeah, her belly's already big! Well, Jeffy, why didn't you tell us sooner? Well, I just found out today! Oh my god, are you sure it's yours? Yeah, I mean, I did bust that pink piggy wide open, Daddy! Like, it made a mess. It was all over the carpet. Ew, Jeffy! Well, where'd you even do this at, Jeffy? In the classroom. Oh, Jeffy, you're sick. You are sick, Jeffy. Why would you do that? Well, it was an accident. I hope it was an accident. I hope you didn't plan on doing this, Jeffy. Well, yeah, it was the first time I ran into her. Oh, my God, Jeffy, you're supposed to get the nose on before you do that. Oh, my God, baby, what do we do? We need to call a doctor. Well, there's always plan B. Jeffy, it's too late for that. Her belly's already big. Well, plan B as in push her down the stairs. That's not a bad idea. Marvin! No, baby, it looks like Jeffy's too young to have a kid. He can't raise a kid. Marvin! Okay, fine. We'll call a doctor and ask him what stairs he recommends pushing her down. Hey, Leah, somebody call a doctor? Yeah, doctor, we're not doing so good. Yeah, me neither, man. This economy, am I right? Ugh, I am barely scraping by. I don't even know if I can afford to keep the lights on next month. My panic attacks keep me up at night. No, I'm talking about Jeffy got someone pregnant. Oh, congratulations. Is it a boy or a girl? I got a girl pregnant. But no, I mean, is the baby a boy or a girl? We don't know yet. We'll let it decide when it gets older. But hopefully it identifies as dead soon. But 
Okay, so what do you need me for? Listen, doctor, he got a girl pregnant and he hasn't told us who she is yet, but we're just scared. What do we do? Well, Sasquatch probably went back into the woods. What? Well, I mean, no offense to Jeffy, but she had to be pretty hideous if she was willing to bang him. I mean, my daughter would never. She's a straight-A student and she has respect for herself. What would you do if your daughter got pregnant? Well, I'd probably kill her. Strangle her, actually. Yeah, you know, hold her underwater in the bathtub for about three minutes. That ought to do it. Yeah. But I don't have to worry about that, because she is perfect. Actually, I don't even think she likes boys. Between me and you, I think she prefers Runch and Mug, if you know what I mean. Well, listen, we just don't know what to do. We've never dealt with a situation like this before. Well, I would suggest calling her over here and having to take a pregnancy test to see if she's even pregnant. I don't want to ask a girl to take a pregnancy test. That's weird. Yeah, we wouldn't want that. How about this? How about I hide behind the couch and you call her over, and then when she gets here, I jump out and scare her so she pees a little bit, because I'm pretty scary, and then I'll catch some of that pee with a pregnancy test, and then we'll know if she's pregnant or not. You're not scary. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm not really the- ah! Ha! See? I'm scary. You jumped. Yeah, you are pretty scary. I like your plan more than just asking her to take a pregnancy test. Yeah. Well, we already know she's pregnant because her belly is big. Listen, I'm sure she's f***ing huge. That doesn't mean she's pregnant. You know, Olga's can get pretty big. I mean, I bet she looks like Fiona from Shrek, you know, after sundown. But you should call her over here because I don't want to have to go to a swamp. Okay, yeah, Jeffy, you go get the girl. You hide behind the couch. Okay, I'll do that. All right, now she's right there. So you're the girl who's causing all these problems. Look, I just want my money. <gasps> have some dignity, young lady. I want my $45. $45? Is all she charged you? Hey, I worked hard for that. Yeah, I'm sure you did work hard with all that nasty stuff you did to Jeffy. How often do you do stuff like this? Do what? You know, bust your piggy open. That was my first time, and it was really embarrassing. I couldn't even show off my piggy for show and tell. You were going to show off your piggy for show and tell? Your father must be ashamed. I'm so glad we're trying to get rid of it. Get rid of what? You know, will, will you get rid of it? Get rid of what? I just want my money. If we give you the $45, will you do what we want? Um, yeah, sure. Okay, I'll give her the $45. I got 50. I got 100 in my wallet. Okay, yeah, deal. All right, Brooklyn guy, you can come on out. She just wants money. <laughs> wow, Marvin. I heard the whole thing. She sounds like a real gold digger. Oh, hey, Penelope. What are you doing here? Wait, Marvin, where'd the girl go? I want to show my daughter what a real slut looks like. Uh, she is the girl. <laughs> Penelope, you hussy! What? You're the girl who busted a piggy open? Yeah, I accidentally ran into Jeffy and he busted it open. Oh, this is a parent's worst nightmare. I thought I raised you better than that. And why are you charging money for it? Because he busted my piggy open! Oh, sweet Jesus. I shattered her piggy. You mother or I'll kill you! Hey, 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 stop fighting, stop fighting. We can't change what happened. It already happened. Yeah, I guess you're right. It was an accident, right, Jeffy? Yeah. And I've had plenty of accidents, too. I mean, that's how Penelope was born. What? What? Listen, she said she'll get rid of it for $45. Get rid of what? Oh, you're getting rid of it, young lady. There's no way you're ready for that. What are you talking about? Oh, don't even try to hide it. Your stomach is huge. Oh, that? Yeah, I want to get rid of that. Oh, thank God. I was going to come to you for help as a doctor. Oh, good, because there's like there's some stairs over there, so I could just give you a knuckle sandwich right in the stomach. Um, isn't that going to make it worse? I mean, yeah, it's going to hurt, and it's not going to be fun, but then again, you already had your fun, didn't you? I didn't have fun with this. It was a really mean prank all all the boys at school played on me. Everyone was in on it, and it hurt and stung. Oh, bee needle dick. I'll kill you. Oh, okay, God, that is, that is, that is no fighting. Listen, she said she's willing to do a solution, so you just gotta find out which one she wants to do. Okay, yeah. Penelope, how do you want to get rid of it? I don't know. Like, a shot? Ooh, a shot, a shot. Yeah, that's, that's the best way of doing it. Um, I keep my shots over here, by the stairs. Okay. All right, Dad, where's the shot? Here's a shot. Right in the gut. <laughs> Okay, I think that might have done it. How's your stomach feel? It hurts, but it hurt before, too. Hmm, I think we need to go to the top of the stairs and do it a few more times. How is that going to help my wasp sting? I'm sorry, you what? I got stung by a wasp on the stomach. Wait, 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 wait. So you're telling me you didn't get pregnant? What? Ew, no, Dad. But, but what about your piggy getting busted open? I brought my piggy bank for show and tell, and Jeffy knocked into me, and it shattered on the floor. Oh, oh, thank God. Oh, I am so happy. What the hell did you think happened? Uh, uh, nothing, nothing. Just keep your pure, innocent mind pure and innocent. Look, look, you just go home, and I will go upstairs and explain to those nice people what happened. Okay. Whew. Good news, everyone. Is it dead? Well, technically. Shimmy! 
Well, not even shitty, because it turns out she wasn't pregnant to begin with. Oh, thank God. Woohoo! Pull out Game Strong is fuck. Well, no, not even that, because it turns out she and Jeffy didn't even do anything. But what about all the busting the piggy stuff? Oh, well, she brought her piggy bank to school for show and tell, and Jeffy just accidentally broke it. Then why was her stomach so big? Oh, uh, she gets stung on the stomach by a wasp, and she's really allergic to wasps. That's why it's swelled up so much. Well, Jeffy, why did you think you got her pregnant? Because I ran into her, and then everyone said she was pregnant. But that's not where babies come from. Yeah, this whole thing, let's just be happy that it was a big misunderstanding. Yep. Mm hmm Yep, yep. just a big misunderstanding. Big misunderstanding. Yep. Yep. Big misunderstanding. That's a big yes, misunderstanding. Yes, yes, good, yep. happy ending. Yes, a big yes, misunderstanding. Yes, 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 Okay, I'm gonna go. Can we go to Disney World? Yay! You gotta take me to Disney World! Ooh, Jeffy, is that a Rubik's Cube? Nope, clearly not! Jeffy, if you're trying to solve that, those things are impossible. They're only for smart people. Well, then I guess I am smart people. What, Jeffy, you actually solved it? Well, Danny, I may be slow, but I solved this hoe. And since I solved this Rubik, I'm gonna smack this pubic. What? Jeffy, can I mess it up so you can try solving it again? Sure, mommy. No, Jeffy, seriously, how'd you solve that? Dang, it's easy. All you gotta do is match the colors together. Okay, Jeffy, here you go. All right, watch me work. It doesn't even look like he's solving it. It looks like he's messing it up. Dunion rings. But you solved it again. It only took you like 10 seconds. 10 seconds? That's not even my fastest time. I can solve it in four seconds. Four seconds, Jeffy? That's amazing. You could set a world record. Yeah, I am pretty smart. <gasps> Daddy, there's cheese in my ear. What type of cheese do you think it is? I think it might be a sharp cheddar. Ew. Definitely a Velveeta. No, Jeffy, that's not cheese. That's earwax. When's the last time you cleaned your ears, Jeffy? You're supposed to clean your ears? I thought your ears were for hearing. <sighs> Baby, go get him a Q-tip. Okay. All right, Jeffy. These are Q-tips. Q-tips? What do I do with these? You put it in your ear. In my ear? Ooh. Yeah, like that. Now you move it around. <laughs> Oh, that feels good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, deeper. Jeffy, be careful. You're going to hurt your eardrum. Yeah, Jeffy, you don't want to push it too far. You might hurt your ear. <laughs> Daddy, look. I made a cheese stick. No, Jeffy, you're not supposed to mm. eat it. Mm. Dang, that was so good. It was blue cheese. Package it up. Jeffy, that's not cheese. It's earwax. You're not supposed to eat that. But, Danny, I have an unlimited supply of cheese in my ear. It's cheese for the whole world. Jeffy, it's not cheese for the whole world. It's earwax. Everyone has that in their ear. Daddy, Baker's dozen as fuck. What, oh, Jeffy? Oh. Marvin, I'm going to get him a glass of water if he's going to keep eating his earwax. He needs to stop eating his earwax. It can't be healthy. Well, eventually it'll run out, right? <sighs> we can hope. All right, Daddy, I got a factory in overdrive. Everyone's about to have cheese for days. <sighs> Go get the water. Okay. All right, Jeffy, I brought you a water. Mommy, check out my cheese sticks. I even made a cheese pyramid. Ew! Jeffy, get all this earwax off the couch. Hold on, Daddy, I got one more good one. I gotta get really deep in there. You're gonna hurt your ear. Marvin, how has he not run out of earwax yet? I have no idea. <laughs> Daddy, what's this pink stuff? What, Jeffy, it looks like a piece of your brain. My brain? Oh my God, Marvin, we have to call a doctor. Okay, I'm gonna call a doctor. Hey, Leah, somebody call a doctor? Ooh, cheese sticks. No, that's not cheese. Oh God, that's just earwax on a Q-tip. Why didn't anybody tell me? Because I thought you were smart since you're a doctor. Not all doctors are smart, okay? I cheated to get where I am. Like there was this fat bitch in front of me in college named Abby. I just copied off her. She's a much more successful doctor than I am. Yet fat, so I'm winning. Anyway, what do you guys need? So Jeffy was playing with a Q-tip and he dug out a piece of his brain. Okay, look, that's impossible, okay? He'd have to break through his eardrum, which would be extremely painful, and then the Q-tip would touch his skull, and then once it got through to his inner ear, it would cause extreme pain, dizziness, and vomiting, okay? There's no way that would be an accident. It would have to be on purpose. Well, he was doing it on purpose. He was trying to shove it as deep as he could in his ear. <sighs> okay, let me go get my otoscope. All right, let me take a look in there. Oh, yeah, there's a big chunk of his brain missing. Wait, so that is his brain? Yeah, that's his brain on the Q-tip there. Is he gonna die? I don't know. How you feel, Jeffy? <laughs> <laughs> is that normal? Yeah, he normally acts like that. Oh, well, look, he'll be just fine then. Look, the brain is so big, you don't need all of it. That little piece on the Q-tip, that's probably like one memory. He'll be okay. So you think it's just one memory? Oh, yeah, he'll be fine. Yeah! Is that a Rubik's Cube? Yeah, Jeffy can solve a Rubik's Cube in four seconds. Whoa, that's got to be a world record. You should enter him into the National Annual Rubik's Cube Solvatron Competition. What's that? Well, it's where a bunch of these dorks who don't get any pussy and have rolling backpacks get together to see who can solve a Rubik's Cube the fastest. I mean, no females are allowed within 500 miles of the competition, but first place gets a $25 gift card to QB Tuesdays and a million dollar cash prize. A million dollars just to solve a Rubik's Cube? Yeah, I mean, they're mostly just doing it for the gift card because a million dollars is still not enough to get them laid. They're just going to spend the money to buy more Rubik's Cubes. But 
but yeah. I can't believe, Jeffy, you can make a million dollars just to solve this. Well, I mean, second place, you still get $500,000, and third place gets $100,000. But fourth place gets you executed by firing squad. They kill you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can still come in fifth place. You get 10000 for that. But fourth place, no, they will kill you. They do not tolerate mediocrity. So as long as Jeffy gets first, second, third, or fifth, he gets money? Yeah, yeah. Just don't come in fourth. That would be bad. Oh, my God. Jeffy's going to totally win that competition because he can solve a Rubik's Cube in four seconds. So, so when is it? Uh, it's in two hours, but it's 500 miles away. Marvin, we'd have to travel 250 miles per hour to get there in time. Our car doesn't go that fast. Okay, I'll let you guys borrow my rock. Ship. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the annual National Rubik's Cube Solvatron Competition! We have the biggest nerds in the world here protecting their virginities by trying to solve Rubik's Cubes as fast as they can! The competition will begin shortly! Hmm? I'll get it! Hello? Trick or treat. We're here for the Rubik's Cube competition. Is that a girl? Yeah. Tell her to get the hell out of here. What? Why? Because none of these boys in here have ever seen a girl before, and if they do, they might cream their bridges. Baby, just go wait in the rocket ship. Aww. Can we come in now? What's the password? Oh, Rubik's Cube dick. Come on in. What? All right, Jeffy, you ready to beat these kids? Yeah, I'll beat the shit out of all these kids. Which kid you want me to hit first? No, not beat them up. I meant beat them in solving a Rubik's Cube. What's up, fresh meat? Haven't seen you around here before. So, what's your best time? Best time? Yeah, your best time is solving a Rubik's Cube, idiot. Oh, well, I don't solve Rubik's Cubes, but Jeffy's best time is four seconds. Four seconds? He might win first place this year. Really? Yeah, you see that kid down there? His name is Jackie Two. He wins first place almost every year. He's a super agent. And then, beside him, that's Dontavious Rex. Me. He has a 12 inch wiener. I saw it in the shower one day after cube practice. You have showers here? Oh yeah, this competition gets super intense. And then beside him, that's Cody. He's gay. It's true. Well, Jeffy's gonna try to win first place. Well, you don't have to worry about me. I go for last place every year. Easiest 10 grand of my life. Oh, but my buddy last year, Fred, he died by firing squad because he got fourth place. And then the year before that, my other buddy, he got banned for life. How did he get banned? Because he, he brought a girl. Someone say girl. Shut up, Dontavious. Keep your weight on your pants. Damn. Ugh. Okay, well, um, why are girls not allowed? Girls aren't allowed because the last time a girl was here, everyone's pants got filled with cream cheese. So, why don't you cube? Oh, I just don't know how. Ha! You hear that, everyone? This guy doesn't know how to cube! <laughs> what a fucking loser. Hell pathetic meat. Oh, come on, Jeffy. All right, everyone, we're ready to start the competition. So here's how this is gonna work. Everyone's gonna come up, and we're gonna time how fast you can finish a Rubik's Cube. The person with the fastest time wins a million dollars and a $25 gift card to QB Tuesdays. The person who comes in fourth place gets murdered. Now, first up is our newcomer, Jeffy. Okay, Jeffy, I'll start the timer by hitting the space bar, and when you're done with the Rubik's Cube, I'll stop the timer by hitting the space bar again. And I'll let you know what your time was. The world record is 3.13 seconds. On your mark, get set, go! What am I supposed to do with this? Well, you didn't get the record, but keep going. Jeffy, hurry up and solve it. I don't know what this is. I've never seen one of these before in my life. Jeffy, don't screw with me. You solved it earlier. I did? Well, yes, Jeffy, solve it. I don't even know what this is. What? Oh my god. Do you think that part of your brain you pulled out was the part that made you solve a Rubik's Cube? It has to be because I've never seen one of these before in my life. Uh, mister, he doesn't know how to solve a Rubik's Cube. But what? Yeah, he, I thought he did, but he doesn't know how to do it anymore. Well, then why the hell would you come to a Rubik's Cube competition? I don't know. Well, I guess I'll have to give you fifth place. He has $10,000. Just like that? Yeah, sure. Okay. Come on, Jeffy, let's go. And up next we have Cody Nutkiss. On your mark, get set, go! Yeah, come on, Cody. Come on, Cody. Wow, what a snooze fest. Done! Wow, 6.9 seconds! <laughs> 69. And up next we have Dontavious Rex! On your mark, get set, go! Shit, shit! Oh, shit. that's gonna cost him some time! Come on, kid, hurry up! Done! Not my best time! Mother will not be pleased. 
Are, are you gonna finish it? Just one second. Okay, I think that's good enough to get a nice smooth fifth place. Well, congratulations, you came in fourth. What? Time to die. No, no, please. I swear I'll do better. Please. And last, we have the defending champion, Jackie Two. On your mark, get set. Go! Done! Everybody can suck my wiener! Holy moly! He broke the world record! You get first place! Oh, I'm so full. Maybe just one more. Hey, how was the competition? Uh, no, before you ask, I did not eat the earwax off of these Q-tips. That would be disgusting. Little did I know I did. I am one sick son of a bitch. I even ate the earwax pyramid. <laughs> and I kept some in my pocket as a little snack for later. <laughs> I wonder how many carbs there are in earwax. So, so how was the competition? Oh, uh, it was good. We came in fifth place, so we got $10,000. Oh, nice. I feel bad for the guy who came in fourth, though. Yeah, so you know that piece of brain that Jeffy pulled out? Well, that part of his brain was the part of his brain that knew how to solve a Rubik's Cube. Oh, that sucks. Well, how'd you like my rocket ship? It was cozy. It was very fast. Well, yeah, it's a rocket ship. And uh, the fuel for that bitch is pretty expensive. As a matter of fact, I think one gallon costs about $10,000. Oh, looky there, 10 grand, what a coincidence. But no, I don't have to pay for your gas. Hey, I gave you my rocket ship. I gotta pay for the gas somehow. Don't be a douche. Oh my God, how do you feel, Jeffy? All that was for nothing. Well, Danny, if you wanna make money, I got a cheese factory in my ear and a chocolate factory in my ass. Hey, uh, I've been trying to call my brother Jonathan. Anybody see him? Like, like, was he at the Rubik's Cube competition? Because he's usually there. Well, he said he always got fifth place, and this year we got fifth place, so... <gasps> oh! 